Brendan, welcome. Anything you want to respond to? Yeah, I mean, we think taking economic policy from the 1930s is probably a, a pretty bad idea, especially if you think about some of the most widely owned U.S. stocks or major importers from China, the Walmart, Amazon, uh, Home Depot, and Costco. So we think we think President Trump will get the best deal that he can from China, uh, but he did do a deal and has developed a relationship with President Xi. So we, we think some of the campaign rhetoric is not likely to become economic reality. What have what have media reports or or the Chinese suggested they might do in re, in exchange if we slap big tariffs on across the board? I mean, I think ultimately uh, U.S. multinationals generate about $500 billion in China. That doesn't show up in export numbers because those goods are made in China from U.S.-owned factories and then sold within China. So, so we think there's lots of areas where I th I'm sure Elon Musk will be telling um, incoming President Trump that, you know, there's a lot of business interest in China. Uh, President Xi did a deal with President Trump previously. Obviously, to your point, COVID derailed it. U.S. farmers really paid the price for uh, some of the tariff wars that happened between the U.S. and China. So I think, I think ultimately, I think there'll be a lot of threatening. Uh, but I think ultimately, China is more than willing to do a deal, as well as I think a lot of Chinese companies are willing to set up shop here in the U.S. Do you think it's true that the Chinese officials are waiting and to, you know, for more clarification or perhaps the inauguration of Trump before they unleash more stimulus? Or is that just an excuse for why we haven't seen more? I think there's some signs that this Chinese economy is like a super tanker. It's slowly turning. Things are slowly starting to get a little bit better. So I think they're going with more of an incremental, uh, basically see how the economy reacts. But these are really domestic economy focus issues they're dealing with, the housing crisis, low domestic consumption. Uh, so I think, I think they're much more focused internally than externally. Right. And that being the case, that's why I wonder about tariff retaliation, because if they try to do that, it's just going to kind of make their, their own goals harder to achieve. I'd love to know if Tepper is still in these trades. Well, we'll find out potentially uh, with 13 Fs that will uh, from Q3 in just a few days. But I think I think, you know, ultimately you're seeing a lot more interest uh, just because China's economy is starting to pick up. And obviously we've got a really big week. I mean, obviously today is Singles Day, Kelly. But, you know, on Wednesday we have 10 cent reporting earnings on Thursday, JD, Billy, Billy, Netties and VIP shops. And then a big one, obviously, on Friday will be Alibaba itself. And I think it's really the Q4 outlook. What are these companies seeing from Chinese economies? Are they seeing some proverbial green shoots coming with some of the stimulus measures we've seen implemented thus far? And I know these are still companies that you think, you know, could do well this year. Um, Tencent, for instance, is up 40 percent. So it's participated JD Alibaba, 20 to 30 percent gains. What happened under, during the first Trump term to a lot of these companies and their stock prices? I mean, things did get a little bit more volatile, but but ultimately they did actually perform quite well. In fact, uh, you know, KWeb, our China Internet ETF, actually outperformed outperformed under President Trump than, than President Biden. Now, that's not exactly uh, fair because of obviously zero COVID and other issues. But but we think that there's an opportunity for the U.S. and China between President Trump and President Xi, their special relationship that they have, a mutual respect, that they'll be able to find another deal. I think we really do believe the Chinese are more than willing to give a good deal for President Trump and the American people. And we really think that's underestimated how willing Chinese companies are willing to come and build factories here in the U.S. And I think that's something that President Trump and his team will be able to negotiate. Well,